स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू विल बी फाइन आई एम योर कंप्यूटर टीचर शाहबाज अली टूडे वी डिस्कस कंप्यूटर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव एक्सरसाइज लेट स्टार्ट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एन इंडिविजुअल लिस्ट एटम कैन कंटेन एन अदर इंटायर लिस्ट कार्ड डैश ऑर्डर लिस्ट अन ऑर्डर लिस्ट नेस्टेड लिस्ट डेफिनेशन लिस्ट सो राइट आंसर इज नेस्टेड लिस्ट बिकॉज आर लिस्ट which contain another list is an example of nested list html is not a dash language programming markup both one and two and none of the above so right answer is programming because html is a markup language three web pages can be created and modified by using notepad plus plus notepad text edit all of the above so right answer is all of the above four An HTML element usually consists of a dash tags, start, end, start and end, and none of above. So right answer is start and end. Five. The dash element is a container for metadata, data about data, body, head, title, HTML. So right answer is head. We contain our page information like page title. We store it in our head tag. Six. To save HTML page, you can use dash as file extension. HTM, HTML, XHTML, both one and two. So right answer is both one and two because we can use HTM and HTML as a file extension of HTML language. Seven. They are dash of the heading in HTML document. Four. Five, six, one. So right answer is six. There are six headings in HTML document. Eight. The tag is used to display data in tabular form. TD, table, TR, TH. So right answer is table because if we want to create a table in our HTML page, we use table tag. Nine. A hyperlink can be applied to. image text both 1 and 2 hyperlink can be applied both 1 and 2 10 and body tag dash is used to make a picture of background image of a web page bg background bg image both 1 and 2 so right answer is background if you want to make a picture of background image of a web page we use background tag question number 2 fill in the blanks first Dash make a cell spam more than one row. Row spam. Two by clicking on special text called dash, which bring you to the next page. The answer is hyperlink. Three the dash attribute specify the foreground color of the web page. Text. Four in HTML pages are defined with the dash tags. Image. Four in HTML images are defined with dash tags. definitely image tags fifth dash refers to the web tags are used to define the page layout and element within the page a markup language sixth html is a computer language which is used to create dash so basically html is a computer language that is used to create a web pages seven dash tag makes the enclosed text bold if we want to our text bold we use b eight tags and text that are not directly displayed on the page are written in dash section so the right answer is head ninth the dash tag is used for inserting a line break so we use break tag if we want to break a line we use break tag tenth dash attribute is used with image tag to display the text if the image could not load in the browser we use alt attribute if the image is not displayed we use alt attribute If image tag to display the text of the image could not be loaded in the browser. Let's move forward. Short questions. Let's move forward from the short questions. Question number three. First question. Differentiate between ordered and unordered list. Ans. The ordered list is used to display a list of atoms in which each atom is marked with a number or letter. Such list or letter, such as one to three or A B C. O L tag is used to create order list in HTML language. I will give you example here. 
now you see 1 2 3 1 2 3 a b c this is an example of ordered list second the unordered list is used to display a list of atom in which each atom is marked with a special symbol such as circle or square ul tag is used to create ordered list in html language here i also have here we also have example of unordered list here you can see bullet check this is the example of unordered list question number two describe the basic text formatting tag different tags to format text are as follows font bold italic underline so discuss one by one font if we want to change our size color or face we use these tags here you can see this is a size tag this is a font color this is a font face now if you want to bold our tag we use bold tag if we want to bold our text we use b tag if we want to italic our text we use italic tag means i if we want to underline we use u tag question number three what is the difference between hyperlink and anchor hyperlink is such an icon graphic or text in a web page the one click takes you to some other web pages uh, if you use internet you see some links that are underlined and blue color if you click on the link we move forward from one page to the next page of the website this is a hyperlink anchor anchor links allow you to go from one part of the same page to another part this is the basic difference between hyperlink and anchor the hyperlinks move forward from one page to another page but the anchor move forward from same page but the other part question number three create a basic table with following attributes first is call span and second is row span so first see call span first i use table tag because we want to create a table we use table tag here tr mean table row th mean table heading so table heading is name and call span telephone now tr mean same table row and td mean table data here you can see name is heading and telephone is heading now you can see here the call span to telephone telephone is split into two different columns here you can see row span so we want to create a table we use table tag first here you can see table heading name and table data ali ahmed tr table row and row span split the table into two into two rows here you can see we have name heading and telephone heading now you can see telephone heading is split into two different rows this is an example of row span now question number five explain the steps involved to create a html page so first open any text editor such as notepad step two write some html content step three click file save the save as dialog box will appear type first dot html html basically is an extension here name box step five click save the html file will be saved on the hard disk step six double click the file the web page will appear in the browser write the output of following html so here we have output of the following html code understand it with a practical now here you can see we have a code of question number 5.4 i will give i will show you the output here you can see this is the output of this code so first we use dot type this is a syntax now html opting tag here html closing tag now we use now we use title to give the page name here you can see my page here we have page name we use order list here order list first is first is sport and second is cities of the pakistan here you can see sport number one cities of pakistan number two now cricket here you can see cricket each team has 11 player now you see here badminton each team has one or two player see similarly this is a code and this is the output of this code now move forward our question number five question number five is that if we have the output this now what is the code of this output 
write in html language so i will see you the code of this output here you can see this is a code of a given output so first we use extension then html opening tag and html closing tag after this we use after head part this is the head part and this is a body part after this we mention this is the algorithm so algorithm color is blue here you can see color is equal to blue heading first opening and heading first closing now closing is the found tag after this we use heading number two that is plane interest calculation here you can see plane interest calculation after this we use break tag to break the line after this we write this paragraph so we use paragraph tag this you can see this algorithm takes number of the wares amount interest and the rate as input and produces the total plane interest this is the output here you can see now we use in the sequence wise and order wise we use one two three and we use here you can see this is a order wise now we write it we use order tag yani o l yani order list first is start the start number is one second is input number where amount rate this is a number two as so on after this acceleration calculation this is the acceleration calculation heading number two now paragraph we use paragraph tag after this we want to in sequence wise and order wise so this is a code of question number 5.5 i hope ki aapko samajh aayi hogi if you have any query if you have any query any question you can ask me in the comment section so take care allah hafiz